We're getting started in Bucolic Pound Ridge with architects Calvin Zhao and Zach McCown. They took cues both from the splendor of the landscape and the very nature of their clients, fashion designer Josie Natori and her husband Ken. It was designed for a quintessentially busy New York power couple to truly unwind. So take a deep breath, relax, and enjoy. Hi, I'm Zach. And I'm Calvin. And we have an architecture practice in New York called Sal and McCown. Welcome to Pound Ridge. This house was designed for longtime clients and now friends, Ken and Josie Notori. For this project, we were inspired by Ken Notori's longtime wish to have a home that reminded him of his ancestry in Japan. We were designed from the inside out to maximize the time for relaxation. There's a lot we'd like to show you inside, so let's go. The first thing you notice when you come in is the room is all glass. We're in a beautiful natural setting on the edge of a forest, on the top of a small rise, overlooking a pond. Heavy timber construction is what we chose to be able to maximize the amount of glass and the views. The house is very narrow, actually just one room wide, so you can have glass on both sides and be close to nature on both sides. Along this side, we have a veranda the entire length with sliding glass doors that open out. As much as we would like people to appreciate the outdoors, we wanted to provide a place for people to gather comfortably and around the fire seems the most natural thing. A thing we did here was to have the chimney hang as opposed to being supported from below to actually have the views be open through the fireplace. And one piece of furniture we did not design is the piano, uh, which is in a sense really the heart of this home. And from there, we designed the furniture to really accommodate how people like to gather in this house, both for entertaining people and for Josie and Ken just by themselves. Josie likes to curl up and read, so we designed an embracing round sofa for her. This sofa here, it's between architecture and furniture. It's, it's designed for this place in this house to work with the, the flow of how people like to move and how they like to sit. The house is actually an enveloppe of rooms. The rooms arranged along a, a central axis. And so just behind me are transition spaces between here and, and the private areas. And Calvin will meet you there. Here we are in the study, and that's a transitional place between the private and public. So for Ken to work, we found this amazing George Nakashima desk. And behind me is the bookcase, which was actually repurposed from a Japanese cabinet that we found in Brooklyn. So we really want to make this into kind of a shared space between a bedroom and a spa. For the bedroom area, the bed is sort of floating in this larger space. The headboard is actually made from a pair of sliding panels from a Japanese monastery. The fireplace here delineates the sleeping area with the spa area, and this mirrors the fireplace in the living room. The sink is actually facing the beautiful view. We feel that you don't really need to look at yourself all the time in the mirrors. Wouldn't it be wonderful to also refresh yourself by seeing the beautiful view first thing in the morning? All the spaces are inside, outside, so this big sliding door will take you out to a deck for meditation and relaxation. We believe design can really enhance one's life, but better design comes from learning how to listen, and we listen well on this project with these long-standing clients. So it was a really satisfying collaboration, and we hope that you've enjoyed looking at this house with us. Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to click and subscribe. We've got so many more beautiful homes to share.